Asana Review 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you an honest Asana project management review. After watching this, you will know exactly what Asana is used for and how you can use it in your workflow. So firstly, come on to Asana.com. So guys, when you come on to Asana.com, now from over here, click on the top right or click on this particular button where it says get started. Now, once you click on get started, now from over here, simply type in your business email and sign up. And then after that, you will have the Asana project management in front of you. Now coming back, I have already signed up. So I'm going to simply log in from the top right. Now, once I click on login, I'm going to simply put in my details and I will catch you guys in just a second. So once you have logged in successfully, you will be able to see this dashboard in front of you. Now guys, Asana is a very, very versatile software. You can do a whole lot of different things using Asana if you just know how it works. Now, basically this is a project management software. So over here, you can basically see all your different projects. I have one project called video production, and then we have other projects over here as well. So I'm going to simply click on next project. And then after that, I want you to simply like, you know, use a template or import from a spreadsheet or click on blank project. I'm going to click on use a template because that really saves a lot of time. And then from over here, we have a list of different templates that are present for you guys. You have agency collaboration, you have campaign management, you have creative requests, you have editorial calendars and like, you know, there are just so, so many more. And you know, like there are just so many more options that you can choose from. So I'm going to basically like, you know, choose a particular theme from over here, or maybe I'm going to go for a blank project because like, I really want to design from the scratch. So I'm going to click on blank project. And now from over here, I am supposed to put in the project name. So for that, I'm going to basically put in video production ASAP. After that, I want you to simply like click on the privacy. And then from over here, I want you to choose private to project members or public to marketing. Now, the most ideal thing is usually to like choose the second one, which is private to project members, because that way all of your projects are really, really confidential. So now from over here, you can either choose a list view, board view, timeline, calendar, and you can simply create a project. Guys, note that you can always change these things later on from your software as well. So like nothing too much to worry about right now. Click on create project. And now your project is going to be created. Now, once your project has been created, you will see this dashboard in front of you. Now, up top, you have a list of options. You can either like view this by list, by board, by timeline by calendar, by dashboard, by messages, and like there are just so many more options. And apart from that, you can even like, you know, add tasks, add many different things, like basically tasks, names, uh, task details and stuff like that. So now I'm going to click on board view. So once I click on board view, I have this in front of me. I can like, you know, basically choose this to be script writing. So once I type in script writing over here, after that, from over here, I'm going to basically type in video production. Now, once I type in this over here, I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds. And now over here, we have a basic dashboard and I'm going to add basically one more, which is going to be final video. Now in the script writing section, I'm going to basically type in a topic over here. Um, Shiba Inu versus Polkadot. So once I basically put in my title over here, after that, I can also like, you know, basically have my team work on it. So I'm going to click on this and then from the right side, I can basically assign this to anyone in my team. And then once I assign this to a person in my team, they're going to get an email that you have been assigned to the following project and they can simply react to that. Then we even have an option to like, you know, choose the date as well. Like basically, when do I want this project to be done? I want this project to be done by the 18th. I'm going to click back and then I can basically add dependencies over here as well. And also like add in a description. We need this script to be really authentic and not plagiarized so like once i type in this stuff now we can basically see that we have ourselves a basic description now from over here i can even ask a question or post an update if i wanted to and i can now simply click on back and then I will have this tool assigned to that particular person. Now, once that particular person completes this task, what he's going to do is that he's going to simply click on this task and then he's going to add a label as well from the top right. So like there is an option over here for labels. So like you can even add labels because they really help you like, you know, keep everything organized. And like once that's done, he can simply move it around by simply dragging and dropping it. Now, once that's done, the video production guy can start and once he completes it, he can simply attach the file link from over here through either Dropbox, Google, Box, OneDrive, or any other platform 
And once that's done, you can simply move this over here as well. So like that is basically how easy it is to get started with the basic setup. Now, from the left side, you have all these different options like the My Tasks, Inbox, Reporting, Portfolios and Goals. I'm going to click on My Tasks. Now, once I click on My Tasks, I can basically see all the tasks that I have for myself. So I can assign myself tasks from over here or I can have my VA do these things and then I can basically do like, you know, different stuff from over here. I can basically do these things next week as well. And then after that as well. So like definitely the options are there and I can using the very same method create cards by simply clicking on the plus button, simply typing in a name. And then after that, I'm going to simply like, you know, click on this and I can simply add it to my projects. After that, I can add dependencies, descriptions, and like all in all, nothing too complicated. So guys, that is the basic setup. Now let's take a look at the inbox. So over here in the inbox, you can actually have a one-to-one -one conversation with your team members. So like for example, now from over here, if you were to like, you know, comment something over here and a person was to reply, well then you and that person can basically keep your conversations organized over here in the inbox section. And then you even have an option for the reporting as well. So like basically using this particular reporting section you can basically like do all of these things like the resourcing the work health the progress um we have the recommended stuff we have the work health the progress the like all of that stuff is going to be present over here and you can do all of those things from over here then we even have some more options from over here like basically adding goals adding portfolios like all of these things are important when you have a big team and you can even get access to your basic projects from the left side where it says start projects for easy access. So like guys, definitely this is Asana, nothing too complicated. All in all, this is very, very easy. Then you even have the option for calendar. So like you can basically assign tasks from over here using the calendar as well. So like for example, let's say I want to like, you know, buy a cake on the 18th. So I'm going to type in buy a cake on 18th. And then after that, I can simply like, you know, click on this, add people, add dependencies, add priority from over here as well, add a status, add a description, and then basically have my VA manage all of that. So like guys, definitely very, very easy to get started with nothing too complicated. And honestly, anybody can get started with this ASAP. So I'm going to click on Asana now, and now let's take a look at their pricing. So I'm going to simply go over to their pricing section. So they have three plans. The basic plan is going to cost you $10 per seed per month. The business plan is going to cost you $24 per seed per month. And their enterprise plan is going to cost you an unknown amount depending upon how big your team is. Because like if you are not satisfied with their premium and business plans, well then obviously you will have a very, very big team. Then you have more options like over here, basically having lockable custom fields, having a workload tracker, having integrations with Salesforce, Adobe Creative Cloud, Tableau, and so many big softwares. And like guys, all of these softwares are really, really important. And guys, honestly, this is not that expensive, like $10 per month for one person. It's not that expensive because like the softwares they provide can actually help you make a million. So like definitely look at it like that and you will not be disappointed. Then you can even see that they have like big members like the New York Times, Airbnb, Red Bull, like, you know, all these big brands. So like definitely guys, this was the video. And if this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.